Welcome to Kiddo and Janko Wednesdays at Lunch Burger, Burger Edition. Edition. This week, Matthew and I went out to Prince Arthur uh, and went to Rub's American Barbecue to have some American Barbecue style burgers, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew, have you ever even heard of Rub's before today? No. I feel like you were a little dazed today. You're a bit you of. still feel dazed. I yeah, you're why. in a fog. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm just I've just recently learned how to communicate with people again. So please explain. My... What do you mean? You do a weekly podcast, you speak, you, there's <laughs> we have we have, you know, tens of hours of you speaking on recordings, but you're only learning how to talk again now? Well, maybe for the last week because this last week I've been felt like I wasn't myself and I don't know. I don't know what I mean by that exactly. Me either. Uh <laughs> if I I was talking to people at work and I not even really talking, just being talked at. And mm-hmm. I was staring, but I felt like I was uh, viewing this situation from... Uh, it, was, it was an out-of-body experience, I guess. I was seeing myself there, and I just didn't didn't know how I ever did this before. How did I ever have a conversation with someone What before? do you mean? What, what, what had changed that, it was so, that was so wrong and difficult now? Just felt uncomfortable and just wasn't having it. Wasn't enjoying it. Didn't know what to do with my hands. Felt like I was acting very strangely. I kept shifting my eyes, looking around, and I, I, I've been in conversations this week that I almost just had to say, "I'm sorry, I have to go," but they always <laughs> ended so quickly because I didn't. You're just pulling the ripcord on the conversation. Yeah, for no no reason. But I think today was was getting a little better. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say this doesn't bode well for this episode of the podcast. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But but I guess we we've we've been we went for lunch together. We were chit chatting during lunch, so yeah. maybe you warmed up. It took me like two hours to eat my burger today. That's not like me. Usually, yeah, I finish were... that burger before you've even started. That's true, because usually I'm the one talking my mouth off. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, you had a little trouble with your burger today. Before we get into <laughs> The burger itself, Matthew. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about Rubs. You've never been there before. I'd never been there before. I know them best from their uh, radio commercials. Mm. Really uh-huh. tells you nothing. All I know is that they smoke all their stuff, American barbecue style, Tennessee. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever heard one of those um, commercials. But um, but yeah, we went in. We had a good long look at the menu. Um, looked at the burger selections. Quite a few burger options, things with blue cheese. They have a double burger that I looked at for a second, but not much longer because it is 16 ounces of beef patty. Yeah. That's crazy. That is way too much. How much regular beef patty is what you normally get, like a three-ounce burger? Yeah, three, four, six. It depends. Well, the ones we got were six. We got and that s- seemed like a lot. Uh, I think they were eight. Eight? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Two or sixteen. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's a lot. You know, there was a monster burger. There was one with like marmalade and pineapple on it that got me pretty excited. But I was like, you know what? I've made this mistake before of getting the craziest hamburger on their menu. Let me go with a more normal burger. Maybe I'll enjoy my experience a little more. We'll 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 see we'll see, but first we want to have some appetizers. Yeah, uh, Matthew, what were you looking at the appetizers before I was just like before I just exclaimed about what I wanted and what we ultimately <laughs> ate? <laughs> well, see, I was thinking about it to myself, but I wasn't sure when you when you yelled out what you fancied. Bloomin' onion. Yeah, that kind of got me, and it looked good. Yeah. I really wanted something fried, and so that, that okay. settled. Uh, Settled nicely. I almost, I mean, I was I was pretty close to getting two appetizers because yeah. uh, I was hungry, but, you know, I have a eyes bigger than my stomach type of problem generally. Uh, and there were some, like, brisket rolls that looked like egg rolls, but with brisket in it? That sounds awesome. I might have to go back just to try things like that. Um, I will say, though, right off the bat, we walk in, we're greeted. Um, she greets us in English and French. So I respond in English just to sort of let her know where we're going from here. Set the tone. Set the, the tone. Of the day. We're seated. She seems nice. She comes back and then talks to us again in French. And I'm thinking, like, oh, yeah. well, yeah, why are you switching on us, Becky, or whatever your name is? She introduced herself, but I, I honestly could not remember her name. It was not, it was not, what, what was it, Matthew? It wasn't uh, Becky. Brenna. 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 Brenna? Yeah. Pff, whatever, Becky. And so, <laughs> <laughs> um, we didn't get water, I noticed. That's true, yeah. Which was a little weird. And as soon as she came to greet us again in French, she 
was like, so, can I start you off with a pitcher of beer? And I'm thinking, it's like 1 o'clock. What are you doing, Becky? <laughs> what are you getting at here? <laughs> this is a, Yeah, it's not... Uh, we were like her only customers, though. I get Well, there were two little old ladies on the other end of the restaurant that you couldn't really see. And there was also some, like, ghastly breathing going on from around the corner. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it sounded like some creature that was, like, just struggling to continue living. <laughs> like, I could only imagine it was, like, a horse with no skin. A horse, a horse with no skin. Yeah, just, like, breathing it's... really wheezily, just struggling to to stay alive. I don't even understand in what context that would be up there. It would be something horrific. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I did feel really uncomfortable there. Was it the restaurant as a whole, or was it damn Becky? I think it was. It was Becky's persistence uh, and how often she had to come check check up on us. Yeah. And there was a man behind you, uh, up the stairs, close to that dead wheezing horse. <laughs> yeah, uh, and he was just staring at us. Or was Maybe he? Maybe he wasn't staring at it, but every time I looked over, I was, he was looking at us. And I don't know. He wasn't eating anything. It looked like maybe he worked there, and he was just on his break. And he I was... think I saw him earlier, and he was dusting the ceiling, which I found was a little odd. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's the last place you need to dust. Yeah. It looked like he was just busy work. Yeah. Uh, but he was odd. just sitting staring, not talking to anybody, just looking, and it made me uncomfortable. Was he Was he the dead horse? Was he wheezing? He may have been. I went up to the washroom later, and I want to have a, a peek, see what was up there. No dead horse. No. But I don't. I didn't find it. Maybe they moved it. <laughs> there was something unnatural happening. Like there, there were, were whispers. Creepy. We- you heard whispers. I heard like. <laughs> and I just couldn't figure it out. So apparently, Rubs American Barbecue is a damn horror show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, so we got a blooming onion. Yes, blooming onion. <laughs> Matthew, have you ever had a blooming onion before? I don't think so. No, really, it was a huge onion. And you know, it looked kind of like seafood in a way, like a like something with, like maybe a sea urchin sure. or something that just you fry up a sea urchin and it just opens up and dies that way. <laughs> uh, I think if it tasted great, yeah. But if halfway through you told me it was a, a living aquatic creature, I would have thrown it up. Wouldn't have liked it anymore. Would you have even believed me? Because it did look like onion. And it looked and tasted like an onion. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's an odd statement to, to go with. Yeah, I guess so. It just it looked alive. When See, you, I used to love... Uh, the, the casual spa used to have this onion brick. Okay. It was just a like just a deep-fried brick of onion. Same principle as the Bloomin' Onion, but like not as nicely presented. And I was so sad when they took it off the menu. I mean, in principle, it's gross. It's just a bunch of onions in a cube that they fry. Ah, this I'm... is nicer because it sort of like opens up and, yeah. you know, you could take it apart and dip it in the middle. But something about that sawing through a cube of onion really did it for me. <laughs> Love me some Strange. onion. Yeah. I oh, can't yeah. really even picture what it would be like. Like that was the signature item for me on their menu. Yeah. They had all they had ribs and chicken and all this stuff. I was just like, give me that brick and onions. That's all I need. <laughs> huh. Well, maybe you can make it yourself. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Hmm. Onion. Onion. <laughs> um. oh. So Matthew, um uh, uh I think I I feel like I'm gonna let people behind the scenes a little bit on our show. All right. Um we're usually not always, but usually we're able to record about a week out. So we have one episode that, you know, is in post-production between the recording time and it going on air. Uh, but this week, that's not the case, Matthew. Because last week, I was very ill. Mm. I I had to text you and say, Matthew, we can't go for lunch this week. Eh, let's not get a burger. Because... I can't keep anything down. I yeah. woke up in the middle of the night, holding my belly, rolling, wiggling from side to side because I had a terrible stomach ache and I did not want to go throw up because I rarely do. In the past maybe eight years, I've thrown up maybe once. Oh. And I just did not want to do it. So I was fighting it back as hard as I could. I eventually succumbed 
to what would seem to be a gastro, gastro intend. What, what's, what's the actual name of that disease? Gastrointestinal disease? disorder? Disease. Disorder, whatever. Yeah. Man, it's just a brief illness, I guess. You know, that's what everyone, I, I, I've spoken to a bunch of other people who have had this because, I, you know, this was a big deal for me. <laughs> um, and I don't get very sick very often. And this was just, this this was a slap across the face of what being sick actually is like. Because I couldn't do damn near anything for a day and a half. Like, uh, I couldn't eat anything. I was I, I couldn't stay awake, but I also couldn't sleep. I'd doze off and then wake up 45 minutes later in a in a cold sweat and just kept repeating this process. Walking to the bathroom was, was arduous. Uh, I don't have a huge apartment, but walking across it was like, oh, no, I got to go over there. Yeah. That's, that's a room away. <laughs> and it was awful. Um, uh, so, yeah, everyone I've spoken to seems to be like, yeah, this is something that happens. It passes in a day. And I was just like, I, sp- I spent a good 36 hours going like, I'm dying. I'm never going to eat again. This wow. is the worst. Did you pray at all? No. It's usually when I pray. Yeah? Yeah. Like you, you start getting delirious and you're like, Jesus, if this is how I go, sorry. <laughs> no, uh, I usually I try to strike a bargain with, yeah. the, with the big guy. What kind of bargains have you, what kind of deals have you tried to strike? Uh, nothing, I guess nothing that sinister. I should have been praying to Satan. I feel like he delivers, but you got to give him something. He, yeah, but I feel like the price is heftier with Satan. Yeah. But you, you give your soul for all eternity, and you know you get that gold coin or whatever. Yeah, well, I'd ask for more than that. Well, Maybe. what are you asking for? Are you like, if you can make me well and give me a sweet new pair of shoes, we might have a deal. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll try that next time I'm sick. Usually with uh, with God, I just I pray to Him and I say, if you cure my illness right now, uh, I will pray to you again. When I am not sick, so it's like, it's like when you call somebody when when you need something, and yeah. then you feel like you should call them just to say hi. Sometimes, I feel like that's the deal I make, and I never, I never live up to it. No, and I get sick, and uh, it doesn't get cured instantly. So I feel like maybe striking a deal with Satan is the way to go. Well, maybe, maybe it's because you, despite what you said, you're still only calling when you need help. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But you don't get results fast. I feel like with God, you get results. But you really are the one who did it yourself. You know. What are the what are the like Satan results that you've you've heard of that that make you think this? <laughs> like, oh yeah, well, my buddy Steve over here, he he's got that brand new pair of hooves. Like, I don't know what you're... <laughs> hooves. I don't know. I feel like that's a thing Satan would give you. <laughs> hooves? Why? Well, I don't know. Let's say you you your feet get amputated, and you're like, oh. Satan, I'll give you my soul if you can only give me new feet. And he's like, there's a catch because I'm <laughs> Satan. Hooves you get. That's better than no feet. Well, yeah, I guess, yeah. Um, that horse could have used some skin. It seems like, <laughs> I feel like, um, no, I was like, let's say you pray, let's say you pray to, to God and you say you would like treasure. Sure. Uh you're not gonna get it. No. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. Maybe maybe six years down the line. I feel like God would never give you treasure. You have to be work like you for know it. the the treasure you will get is in my kingdom. Yeah, it's all that. It's all that stuff. It's like it's it's like yeah yeah, yeah. nothing's physical feel, with him. <laughs> yeah, I love how like, yeah. Whenever I pray to God about getting riches, it's all that bullshit of I'll get all the riches I need in the afterlife. Yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh... <laughs> You'd start talking about. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I heard that before." You know, I'm just gonna take my business elsewhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with Satan, you say, "I want treasure." You get that treasure. You physically get it. It's not a metaphor for something. No. You physically, you get a, a chest full yeah, of treasure. I, again, though, with Satan, I feel like I'd have to be very specific about what I want because if I ask for treasure, who knows what Satan will give me? Because he's Satan. He's a trickster. I don't know if Satan's a trickster, though. No. What do you mean? Isn't that more like a like a like a twist? 